Conqueror's public enemy number one is currently the AK, and it hasn't always been this way, but now I see people complain more about Trigger Man than any other class. So for me, it's not really a question of is the AK OP, but uh, instead a question of how OP is the AK, and I'm sure um, others would agree with me here. I haven't really done a video like this before, but it should be an interesting one because um, I'll be talking about the game's balance. So um, I'll be showing off some testing and going over some stats, as well as looking at usage statistics. For example, um, how many players in the leaderboard are maining uh, the trigger man. After all that, we should have a pretty good understanding of exactly how OP the AK is and um, maybe have some recommendations on balance changes. So let's jump right into it by talking about some of the recent balance changes that um, have allowed the trigger man to be so strong. Feels like it was just yesterday that people were hitting on Vince and the shotgun and I'm sure all of us have died to shotgun noobs. But anyways, I'm not going to go over everything, but I want to highlight what I think are the most important changes to other classes that made the trigger man stronger. Um, so going in reverse chronological order, update 2.6.7. I'd say that this was the biggest nerf to Vince. Um, there were changes to um, the shotgun range in the past that didn't quite um, do the trick. One thing that I would say is that it really doesn't change the matchup of Trigger Man versus Vince that much because uh, Trigger Man still kills the Vince in three headshots. Since Trigger Man's got a base damage of 23, headshot damage of um, 34, um, you could also now do two headshots and one body shot. But overall, I think that um, what it really comes down to is people just um, maybe hate on Vince a little bit less nowadays and hate on Trigger Man um, a little bit more in comparison. So let's talk about the LMG nerf now. And actually this one didn't do too much uh, in regards to a one versus one either. So um, basically before it was uh, six body shots for a kill on a 100 HP class or four headshots, and now it's actually the same. It is really hard to land like four headshots um, using the LMG. So again, similar to the shotgun, um, basically I think it's a minor nerf, but it makes the class uh, a lot less viable in like these free-for-all situations and makes uh, the trigger man a much more favorable choice. Here's the damage chart by um, Zyrum that I've shown off in some other videos as well, but um, really the main point I wanna make here is uh, this row right here. You can see that um, in the green highlights means that um, the time to kill is very fast and the AR pretty much has um, no bad matchups. And this data, by the way, is uh, mostly up to date. I think that there are some minor changes like um, um, LMG damage and we're looking at um, headshots only just because um, Crunker's hitboxes are uh, very forgiving. But I should point out that in Crunker, there are really the one-shot classes and the ones that do not one-shot, and there are the ones in the middle, like the Revolver, that can one-shot certain classes. Um, so I think it's more fair to compare um, the Assault Rifle to other full-auto classes, like the SMG and the LMG, and um, kind of the Uzi, but the Uzi is only really effective at close range. Um, so if you compare like average time to kill for um, Assault Rifle, SMG and the LMG, um, the AR is in first place. I did realize that um, one thing that makes Trigger Man so strong is uh, sustained damage, especially in um, those free-for-all situations. And TTK doesn't really factor in the reload time, so I did some testing with a few different classes to see how much damage it can output in 15 seconds. So I tested the full auto classes as well as um, classes that are kind of like alternatives to the Trigger Man, such as the semi-auto and the Famous. And surprise, surprise, the AK comes out ahead and deals the most damage per 15 seconds. So not only is the time to kill faster than the SMG, even at point blank range, but uh, even with that SMG clip size buff going from 30 to 34, the AK still is able to put out um, more overall damage. So we covered the stats on what makes the Trigger Man so strong. But now let's talk about popularity, which I think is a really useful metric. Just because something is popular does not necessarily mean that it's good. But I still find it useful to look at things like um, in MOBAs, for example, you have the pick and ban rates of certain heroes. So I think you could say the same thing about Krunker. Now, I did take a look only at um, the general leaderboards for Krunker. What I did was I looked at the top 50 and um, looked at each player and see if they mained the AK or not. So basically, if they had the most uh, playtime or highest level on that class, then it's a yes, and then if not, it's a no. And I only did top 50 rather than top 100 because it was pretty manual. I had to click on all the different profiles and look through it and see which um, level was the highest. And what did I discover? 
The Trigger Man is the most popular class in the Chronicle Top 50. Here's the raw data. 28 people are AK mains and 22 are not AK mains. So playing um, the most play time on any other class, um, whether it be Hunter, Shotgun, or LMG or SMG. Um, the second most popular was definitely the Hunter. But um, far and away, the AK um, was the most popular class to use in the Chronicle Top 50. Um, so that could mean that people just really enjoy playing the Trigger Man, but I think that um, people choose to play the Trigger Man because it gets you good results and allows you to go for those high kill games, high score games, and get nukes more easily. Now let's go back to the question, exactly how OP is the Trigger Man? Is it more like Fox from Super Smash Bros. Melee or Meta Knight from Brawl? Um, I think that is more like um, Bayonetta from Smash 4, where it's a highly played character, but um, not OP enough to be banned in tournaments. Just to be clear though, I do think that the Trigger Man deserves a small nerf. Um, so I did come up with um, a few different ways that the devs could nerf the Trigger Man realistically. So the first, which I also think is the most obvious, is reducing the base damage of the Trigger Man from 23 to 22. Um, one thing that makes the Trigger Man so strong is being able to get that um, three shot headshot because uh, with the headshot multiplier, 23 damage uh, becomes 34 damage. 34 times three is just over 100. And if you do the same logic, a base damage of 22, headshot multiplier of 1.5, you end up with 33 damage. So it would deal exactly 99 damage to 100 HP classes. Another idea is to increase the amount of time it takes to do a reload. So maybe double the amount of time um, than it is right now. And that would um, decrease the amount of uptime that the Trigger Man has and kind of uh, make it more strategic decision as to whether you should reload or not. The Trigger Man does have a secondary, so um, it wouldn't be as significant as, say, doing the same thing to um, a running gun. The last idea I had was to um, increase the amount of recoil that the Trigger Man has, which could be really interesting because it could open up room for maybe other full auto classes that are somewhat similar but have um, different recoil patterns. Instead of all that, the devs could simply buff all the other classes in the game, but I think in this case, it is easier just to slightly nerf the Trigger Man. Um, historically speaking, the devs have taken both approaches by um, slightly buffing the um, underpowered classes and then doing slight nerfs to the overpowered classes. And overall, I think they've done a pretty great job at balancing out the game because it's very challenging to balance out a game for all different types of players who are playing different game modes. But it's still, I think, a slight nerf to the Trigger Man while just gradually continuing what they're doing and um, uplifting some of the weaker classes. That's going to really help to increase the variety and fun factor of Krunker. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I've been noticing a lot of people using my creator code in the Krunker store, so thank you guys so much for that. And if you're not aware, my creator code is Bills, so you can enter code Bills when you're buying KR. And as always, um, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Thank you guys so much for subscribing and for watching my video, and I'll see you guys next time.